we are going to begin kind of standing. We're going to do some squ frog squats, which are uh, it's a pranayama practice, a breathing practice. So you're just going to come with your feet about hips width distance apart. And it's essentially just kind of squatting down, keeping your knees bent as much as you need to your fingertips reach the mat. All right. And then on an inhale, we're going to drop the hips down and exhale, lift the hips and look between the legs back behind this. So inhale, exhale, lift the hips, look back. Inhale, look up, squat, exhale, look back. And then you're just going to continue doing this with your own breath rhythm, maybe starting a little slow, but it is a warm up. So you'll start to warm up pretty quickly. Like a little frog. Be mindful of your movements. Couple more breaths. Little legs start to get fatigued. And then slowly come into a wide legged forward fold, just wherever you're at. Slight bend in the knees, let the head hang heavy. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it out. And then slowly lower on down to tabletop. Come into your hands and knees. And take a few rounds of cat and cow, inhaling, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. As you know, cat curling the spine. Keeping that connection of the breath rhythm that you established in our frog squats. Taking any other movements you might need to feel warmed up and ready this morning. Rolling the shoulders, and tapping the feet. Placing the backs of the hands on the mat and shifting forward and back, a gentle stretch of the wrists. And as you're ready, coming back to that neutral tabletop position and lifting the right knee off the mat. So taking a hamstring curl. So lifting that knee and pulling the heel up and back over you, over your hips, and then lowering it back down. Inhaling up, exhaling, lowering the right knee. Inhaling, lifting, exhaling, lowering that, night, that right knee. And as you're lifting, engage that hamstring. Just bring your awareness to it. See if you can use that to help you lift up. Just a couple more. And then on your inhale, lift the knee, keep it there, and then take some little hip circles. So imagine you have a little pencil on the end of your right knee, and you're just going to draw some circles in the air. One direction. Being careful with your movements. Taking notice of how wide or how short your little circles are. And then gently coming to stop and then un erase those circles by going the opposite direction. So circling the knee the other way. Starting to feel it in those hips, warming them up. Take a few more evolutions and then slowly stop, bring the knee back down to the mat and we'll switch sides. So lift that left knee up through the hamstring, lifting up, maybe arching the back a little bit. Exhaling, lowering the left knee down. Inhaling, engaging the hamstring, the back of the thigh on your inhale and the exhale. Moving with your breath. Just a few more. And then inhaling, lifting, keeping the knee lifted and draw those circles with the left knee this time going one direction. Little hip circles. Continuing to deep in the inhales, slow the exhales down, out through the nose. And slow the circles down until you stop and gently switch directions, erasing those circles.
going the opposite way. Just a few more revolutions here. And slowly stop, lower the knees to the mat. Bring the big toes to touch and widen the knees to the edges of the mat for a wide-legged child's pose. Sink the hips back, reach the arms for it. Forward, forehead to the mat. Take three rounds of deep breath here, filling all the way up as much as you can and exhaling out through open mouth, pressing out as much air as you can on the exhale. on an inhale, slowly come back up, keeping the knees together. Shift the weight forward so the big toes come up and your heart comes through the shoulders as you lower the hips down. Keep the belly engaged here so you're not dumping into the low back, finding our hanging cobra. And then inhaling, shifting back to our wide-legged child's pose. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale up to our hanging cobra. Slight tuck of the tailbone or bringing the belly button towards the spine. Exhale back to wide-legged child's pose. Let's do one more of those. Or take a couple more if you like how it feels. You want to keep going. We'll meet back in our wide-legged child's pose whenever you're ready. And then bring the knees together. And we're gonna slowly take three lifts into downward facing dog. So tucking the toes, shifting the hips back, lifting the knees a little off the mat. Exhale, lower the knees back down. Spin the forearms forward. Inhale, lifting up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. This time, inhale, gently pressing all the way up to our downward facing dog. Take your time. Lifting through the sitting bones, pressing your chest towards your thighs, looking back towards your toes. Be here for three rounds of breath. Feel free to pedal out your heels or shift your hips side to side if you need. Spread the fingertips wide. Press the thumb and the for the front first pointer finger down into the mat. Relax the head. Final breath in and exhale it out. Look between the hands, tiptoe towards the top of the mat, find a forward fold. And let your inhale gently bring you up to that halfway lift. Lengthen through another inhale, exhale fold. Tuck the tailbone, bend the knees and roll up to stand as slow as you can. Shoulders, chin and neck lift last. Take an inhale at the top. Exhale it out. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift on your next inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Press the shoulders away from the ears like you're looking over the top of a diving board. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step your feet back to plank. Hold for two breaths. Spin the inner elbows forward, lifting up from the belly. On an exhale, either lower through chaturanga or knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Pull the shoulders away from the ears again, lengthening through, looking up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Again, taking any other extra movements you might like. Feeling weight in the heels. Pulling the hands and the feet in towards each other as you gather that energy up through your arms and legs into the center. And on your next exhale, look between your hands, make your way to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Roll up to stand. Bring the arms up with you. And we're going to take it right back down on the exhale for another round of Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step it back, plank. Hold for a breath. You can lower it to your knees, of course, if you need. One more inhale. Exhale, shift forward, lower down. Cobra up dog. Peel the heart up off the mat. 
lengthen through the neck. Exhale, release. Inhale, up and back to downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Again, to engage that ujjayi breath, if you haven't already, dragging the inhales down the back of the throat, exhaling audibly through the nose. Look between your hands, make your way back to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair, sweep the arms around as you drop the hips, lifting the arms now, chest lifts. Keep your, your knees over your heels, so you might need to stand up a little bit. And then slight tuck of the tailbone, relax the shoulders. One more breath in. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, lower through, your choice. Inhale to cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, warrior two. Spin the back heel down, front heel aligns with the back arch. Cartwheel the left arm up and open so you're facing the left side of the mat, look over the top fingertips. Press the hips open, reaching out through the fingertips. Maybe sinking into your warrior two a little more. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame the front foot coming back down through or plank, or knees, chest, chin. Cobra, up dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Step the left foot forward, warrior two on the other side. Right heel spins down, align yourself. Spin the right arm up, left arm follows. So you're facing the right side of the mat. Hugging all that energy up and in as you lengthen out through the arms. Look over your front fingertips with the front palm, reverse warrior. Side body stretch. Exhale, cart with your hands to frame the front foot. Step it back. Lower slowly on the exhale. Lifting through the heart on the inhale. Exhale, lower the forehead. Press it up and back to downward facing dog. Look between the hands. Coming to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair, knees bend, arms rise. Relax the shoulders. Hug the belly in, look up. One more breath here. Weight in the heels. Inhale to stand, arms to the side. Now that we're a little warmed up, let's just take a moment here. Reconnect with your breath. If you have an intention you'd like to set for class today, bring the palms together and tuck the chin, looking down at the fingertips. Take a breath in and a breath out. Taking this moment of peace to yourself to recenter and ground down through the feet, lengthen through the spine. We'll be taking a lot of hip stabilizers and hamstring strengthening postures today. Working to full frog pose, maybe. Maybe you'll just do half frog. We'll see when we get there. But if you need something to focus on, I invite you to consider this frog mythology and its representation of adaptability. Frog becomes, well, it's the tadpole, right? And it becomes a frog. So it reacts to the changing environments quite well. So I hope we can use this practice to embody the little frog, or manduka in, in Sanskrit. We'll take another breath into your intention or the awareness of the frog, if you will. And on your exhale, release the palms. Lift the gaze and step the right foot to the back of the mat. Turn to face the back of the mat for our high lunge. So the right foot is at the top of the mat. Left heel lifts, square the hips towards the top of the mat, sweep the arms up and sink into your high lunge. So pull that left hip back or pull the left hip forward, right hip back. 
feeling really strong and grounded, building that strength up. Tuck the belly, lengthens the spine, relax the shoulders. This is too much for your arms. You can bring them down. Sometimes what I like to do is clasp my fingertips behind my low back and open the heart here. And keeping the shoulders where they are, releasing the hands and then just lifting the arms. This way I know my shoulders are, are relaxed. And it might not look as pretty, but you're keeping your shoulders aligned. One more inhale. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands. Step the right foot to the back of the mat and slowly roll up to stand. Take a breath, take a rest. And then we'll step our left foot to the back of the mat and spin to face the top of the mat. The left foot is forward for our high lunge on the other side. Right heel lifts, squaring the hips and the shoulders towards the top of the mat, reach the arms up overhead. And then exhale, sink into that lunge, maybe walking that right foot back a little. Pulling the right side of the body forward as your left side moves back in space. Fixing your shoulders if you need. Long through the spine. Lifting up out of the pelvis. Scrubbing the feet towards each other, pulling that energy up and in. Maybe sinking a little bit more into that knee. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands on either side of your foot. Step forward to forward fold. And inhale, slowly roll up to stand. <sighs> Exhale. Take a breath, take a rest. <sighs> Exhale it out. Inhale, step the right foot back. Turn to face the right foot. We'll take pyramid pose here. So bringing your hands behind you, taking reverse prayer or you can always just hang on to your hips if you'd like. This can be a pretty deep shoulder opener if you've got tight shoulders. So be kind to yourself, doesn't have to look like this. Similar posture to our, uh, to our uh, lunge that we just took. The back heel is gonna be down though this time. So spin that back left heel down, right knee is forward. Maybe it's bent. Pull that left hip forward, begin to bring your heart over the knee. And lower your gaze to face your knee. Then maybe you can straighten that right knee. Maybe not. Let your head hang heavy. Press down through the feet. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring the feet a little bit more in line with each other. So walking that left foot in as if you're on a tightrope. Pull that right hip back. You'll feel a little bit more in that right outer hip, the glutes, IT band down the leg. On an inhale, slowly come up and step forward to the top of the mat. Relax the hands at your side. Take a breath. Exhale it out. Step the left foot all the way to the back and spin to face. Now the top of the mat, left hip forward. Right foot comes down, bending into that knee, and taking whatever arm variation you like, maybe that reverse prayer. Maybe once was enough and you just need to put your hands on your hips. Square your shoulders to the top of the mat, zip the belly up and in, and exhale, bringing the heart forward. Begin to lower over that front leg. Let your gaze meet your knee, and then maybe you begin to straighten that left leg. Left hip pulls back, press the feet into the mat. Maybe hopping that right foot in a little bit for a little bit more of a balanced challenge, totally optional. Be kind to yourself. Find that balance of effort and ease. Challenging yourself to improve while taking care of yourself to not lead with the ego. A couple more breaths here. I'm right here with you, we got it. On your inhale, press down to the feet, lifting up. Release the hands. Step forward to the top of the mat. Take a breath, take a rest. Catch your breath, tune back in with that rhythm of deep inhales and slow exhales. Breathe out through the mouth. Preparing for our next posture, we'll take a low lunge. So again, stepping the right foot to the back of the mat and pivot all the way to the face, the other side, so the right knee is in the front. Back heel comes up, spin the arms up, 
Exhale, low lunge, lower that left knee to the mat. Lengthen through the spine. So lift through the pubic bone, straightening through the back. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Tuck the toes. On your next inhale, lifting up to that high lunge. Exhale, humble warrior. Bring the chest and the heart forward. Arms sweep back. You can keep them here like airplane arms or clasp your fingertips together and open the shoulders, pulling the arms back through the fists, maybe lowering a little bit more between the legs. Maybe the arms come up overhead. Firm in the feet, squeezing the legs towards each other like you're trying to make a little bubble in the mat underneath you. Relax the head. Exhale, press down. Inhale, coming up. Arms up overhead, exhale to lizard. Plant the hands on the inside of the right foot. Heel toe that right foot to the edge to give your shoulders some space. And either stay here or you can lower the knee to the mat if you'd like. We're working on building strength here and stability. So it's less about finding a flexible stretch and more about hugging the hips in. So right heel, or right leg pulls back, left hip pulls forward. Gathering up that prana, that energy in the body. Active posture here. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. Two more rounds of breath. And then inhale, lift the gaze, shift the weight forward, step that left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Feel toe the feet together and slowly roll the spine up, exaggerate it as much as you'd like. Ah. Lift the gaze and then step the left foot to the back of the mat for the other side. Spin to face the left foot. Coming to our low lunge, reach the arms up, right heel lifts. Send that foot back a little bit and then exhale lower to your low lunge. Untuck the toes, cactus arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Tuck the back toes. On your next inhale, coming up to that high lunge. Exhale, humble warrior. Bring the heart forward, the arms back. Taking the same variation as you do the other side. So if you've got your airplane arms, keep them there. Otherwise, clasp the fingertips. Your fist pulls back as your heart opens. And then maybe you lower between the legs a little more. Not forgetting your breath. Pull the right side forward, left side back. Two more breaths here. Lengthening through the spines on the inhales. Grounding down on the exhales. Inhale to come back up, release the hands, arms up overhead. Exhale to lizard, plant the hands on the inside of the left foot. Adjust your stance as you need. Hugging in. Drawing that energy up, lengthening through the spine, looking just past your hands, neutral in the neck here. Our active lizard posture. It's that balance of stability and flexibility. Most people think of yoga as needing to be flexible or we do it to become more flexible, but Unless the opposing side of our body is strong and feels stable, the other correlating parts aren't going to feel safe to be flexible. So it's important to get both of those factors in, at least when we're talking about the, the physical asana practice. Final breath in here. Exhale, ground down. Shift the weight forward. Step that right foot to the top of the mat, or maybe you tiptoe it. Relax the head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, heel toe the feet together. And roll the spine up to stand, take your time. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, bring the palms together to the top, exhale down through heart center. Take a moment to refocus. Take some deep cleansing breaths. Feel the feet grounding down. Inhale up through the leg channels. 
coming neutral in the pelvis, maybe that means tucking the tailbone a little bit more. Maybe it means the opposite, depending on your anatomy and how you carry yourself. Inhaling up through the spine, relax the shoulders, begin to lower the hands and release to mountain pose. Take a final exhale out. Finding yourself at the top of the mat. Inhale to chair. Take your time, sweep the arms up, send the hips back. Knees are aligned over the ankles, lift the heart. Bring the palms together, down through heart center. Inhale, reach, reach the right elbow up and then cross it over the left knee for a prayer twist. Try to keep your weight distributed evenly in your feet and your knees are still together, so everything's in line. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, maybe look up over your left shoulder. Breathe out. Breathe in. Shift the weight to your left foot, step the right foot to the back for a prayer twist lunge. Left hip pulls forward, right hip pulls back. Or the opposite, actually. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Sorry. Breathe out. Maybe you open your arms like wings. Bring the palms back together. Inhale up to high lunge. Exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Standing splits, shift the weight forward. Lift the right heel off the mat. Look back towards your knee and level out your hips. So the right hip might need to drop a little bit. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, step that right foot to meet the left. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale to chair, sweep the arms up. Knees bent, arms and gaze rise. Bring the palms together and down through heart center, preparing for our twist on the other side. Inhale, left elbow up. Exhale, cross it over the right knee. Adjust your stance, firm in the feet. Long through the spine, even weight distribution. Squeeze that right knee into the left elbow. One more breath in here. Shift the weight to the right. Step the left foot back for our lunge twist. And breathe. Right hip back, left hip forward. Breathe out. Inhale, maybe opening the arms. Exhale, bring the palms back together. And then inhale up to your high lunge. Exhale, plant your hands on either side of the right foot, standing splits, gently lifting from the hamstring and from your inner thigh, lift that left leg up. Drop the left hip a little bit, keeping even in the hips. Exhale it out as you look back at your knee. Head hangs heavy. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, step that left foot to meet the right. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, arms up. Exhale, prayer hands down through heart center. Let it go. Find your mountain. Breathe here for a few rounds of inhales and exhales. Coming back to that ujjayi breath if you need. Full breath out. Relax the shoulders. Maybe closing the eyes. Bringing back the awareness of your intention. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe the imagery of that transformation of the frog through its life cycles. Calling on that energy of adaptability and using sometimes sudden change as a springboard to completely reinvent yourself. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And coming back to your awareness at the top of the mat. Step the right foot all the way back. Pivot to face that right foot, and we're going to find warrior two. Take your time setting up. Press the hips forward. Open through the heart, but pull the, uh, the lungs back in, your chest back in, so you're not sticking the ribs out. 
everything is strong and aligned. Sinking into that front knee, straight through the back leg. Reach forward, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Stay here for a couple breaths, breathing into that side body. Inhale, one more breath here. Exhale, side angle lunge, right elbow to right knee. Left arm comes up overhead. Maybe you gaze up at your shoulder or your elbow. Find some lift in the left hip. Spin the heart towards the top of the ceiling. Or the top of the, yeah, the top of the ceiling, the bottom of the ceiling, the ceiling. And then exhale, look down at your right foot. Bring that left hand down, right hand meets it. And walk your hands over the side of the mat to come to a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway, tenting the fingertips. Lengthen through the spine. Press the hips back as you exhale, fold. In our wide-legged forward fold, the weight is in the ball of the foot. The head hangs heavy. Take a slight bend in the knees if you need. Be gentle on the knees. Walk the hands in line with the feet. We'll be here for two or three more rounds of breath. Make this active. Pressing the feet down, lifting up through the legs. Inhale, walk the hands forward off the mat, tent the fingertips up, coming up halfway. Turn the heels in. And the toes are now facing the, the edges of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips and inhale straight back up to goddess pose. Taking any arm variation here. I'm gonna keep my hands on my hips, but you can extend them out wide. You can take cactus arms. If you have wall space, it's great to practice goddess against the wall as well to help keep that spine straight. So you might need to bring your heels in a little bit. Otherwise begin to sink into your goddess pose. Knees are tracking over the feet, over the toes, winding through the waist. Pay attention if you're shifting forward or shifting back. Lift yourself up out of your pelvis, lengthening through. And try not to let your knees go past your heels. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, press it up, straight legs, turn the toes to face forward. Extend the arms and then find warrior two towards the top of the mat, so the left toes face forward. Finding your stance strong and sturdy. Exhale, grounding down. Inhale, staying down with the body, but pulling that energy up. So you lengthen out. We'll be here for just another breath. On your next inhale, reach forward for the front palm. Reverse warrior. Enjoying that side body stretch. Inhale, breathing into those left lungs. Exhale, side angle lunge, left elbow to left knee, right arm comes up overhead. Maybe gazing up. Spinning the heart forward and up. Right shoulder pulling back to help out. Squeezing the feet together. And look down at your left foot. Bring your hands to the inside of that foot and walk the hands back over the wide edge of the mat for another wide-legged forward fold. Halfway up on the inhale. Exhale, press the hips back, bringing the belly between the legs and then allowing the head to gently fall between you. Walking the hands back. Weight in the balls of the feet, feeling it in the back of the leg channels. Letting everything go here. Take a big exhale out. Turn the heels in, preparing for goddess pose. Bring the hands to the hips. And with a straight spine, slowly come back up. Finding your goddess pose, taking a different arm variation this time, if something else feels good for you. Sinking into that goddess. Straight spine, open through the hips, open through the shoulders. Soft in the face, even though it doesn't feel like a soft pose. 
that's the practice, right? Couple more breaths here. Pressing the knees open, squeezing the shoulder blades, tucking the ribs in, lengthening through the spine. One more breath in and out. Inhale to start straighten through the legs. Look towards the top of the mat, which is over the left foot, and step to the top of the mat. <sighs> you did it. Take a breath. Reconnect. Stay focused. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Gonna wash it out, stepping back to plank or your knees. Inhale, and exhale, lower. All the way to the belly. Forehead comes to the mat, send your arms back, fingertips reaching back towards your feet. We'll take two rounds of locust pose. So you've got a few options. You can take half locust, just lifting your torso, or you can take full locust. I'll cue half locust first and then the full version on the second round, but you do what's best for you. Bring the big toes to touch, press the tops of the feet into the mat so the knees lift. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, stay here. On your inhale, begin to peel the heart and the forehead off the mat. Lift the hands and reach back. Maybe you want to clasp your fingertips and reach it back a little bit more. Still keeping the feet pressing into the mat, toes reaching back. Neck is neutral here, so you're looking just at the top or maybe the edge of the mat. Inhale, maybe you lift a little higher. Stay here. Press the hips down, release the butt. Exhale, slowly lower. Release the arms. Maybe you rock the head gently left and right, massaging out the third eye. Relax the jaw. Anywhere else that might feel tense. And then bringing the forehead back to stillness and center. Zip the big toes together. Press the feet down so the knees lift up. On an inhale, reach the fingertips, lift up through the heart. Taking the bind with the hands, if you'd like, pulling the shoulders back, lifting up. And then if you'd like to take full locust, begin to lift the toes off the mat by still push, pulling the toes towards the back of the mat. Still pressing the pubic bone down and then releasing the butt. Using your core, your upper back, glutes, hamstrings. One more inhale here. Slow motion lower on the exhale. <laughs> Gently massage out that third eye. And bring the hands next to your chest. Press it up and back to tabletop. Exhale to your child's pose. Three rounds of breath here. Allow the tailbone to become heavy as it reaches towards the earth. The shoulders relax, lower the elbows and the forearms to the mat. Allowing the spine to gently curl. Take another couple breaths here. Just relaxing down, focusing back in, bringing back your awareness to your intention, how that connects to the movements you're making with your body, the breath you're sending in and through. And slowly begin to sit up into your hero pose, lean back on the heels. We'll be here for just a minute. Find your breath, look straight ahead. And then if you can, keep sitting on your right heel, extend the left leg long. You can lower your left hip on the mat and allow that right knee to come back. If this isn't gonna work for you, then just take a normal forward fold. So sitting up in an L shape with both legs straight ahead. But if you've got this, 
about a fist width distance between your knee and your other leg. Pull that left hip back so we're still aligning the spine and the hips, same plane. When you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, relax the shoulders. Exhale, hinging at the hips, reach forward towards that left foot, let the hands land. Relax the shoulders, lift the heart, inhale, exhale, fold. If you're taking the seated forward fold version, same thing, inhaling, lengthen, lengthening, exhaling, hinging at the hips, and allowing the gaze to lower towards the knee. Breathe here. Take two more rounds of breath. On an inhale, lift the gaze, and walk the hands back as you sit back up upright. And we'll just gently switch legs. So extend the right leg long, tuck that left heel back underneath you, pull that right hip back, fist with distance between the legs. Right hip pulls back, left hip pulls forward, so we're squared in the hips. Arms reach up overhead, relax the shoulders. Lifting up out of the pelvis, exhaling, hinging at the hips, reaching forward, let the hands lower. Inhale, pull the shoulders back as the heart lifts. Exhale, fold. Lower the gaze to your knee. Don't let the thoughts distract you from staying present in your body. Just let the thoughts hop on by. We'll be here for another two rounds of breath. On an inhale, lift the gaze. Straight through the spine as you walk your hands back and begin to sit up. And we're gonna come to our bellies, preparing for our frog pose. So there's a couple variations here. If you already know that frog is not really in your wheelhouse and you'd like to take half frog, you can go for that. You're just laying on your belly and drawing one knee up, kind of like a 90 degree angle with the elbow and the knee. Otherwise, we'll start with bringing our big toes to touch, knees wide to the edges of the mat, kind of like a wide-legged child's pose, and just begin to, similar to moving into that uh, hanging cobra, just beginning to lower the body down onto the mat, lower the toes. Maybe they don't touch, maybe they stay lifted. You can bring your arms at whatever area is comfortable. So you can either stay here, hang out here. Your half frog is bringing one knee up, one elbow down, 90 degree angles like this. And then for full frog, I'm just gonna widen your knees to the edges of the mat and the inside of the feet are facing uh, the floor. So like, yeah, the inside of the feet are, are on the mat. The knife edges of the feet are facing up. And this is a pretty intense pose. So take your time as you lower down. And you might even wanna move so that you're on the wide edges so your feet and your knees are padded on the mat there. Maybe lower down to your forearms. And this is probably where you're gonna stay. As you spend some time breathing here, the hips might open a little bit more and you might be able to lower down a little bit. Maybe not. Work with your body, not against it. Always reminding myself of that, not just you. And notice where you're holding tension in this frog pose. Can you relax that area a little bit more? Maybe you close your eyes. And I invite you to either listen or maybe repeat the mantra with me. It is a little long, so maybe just listen. As I embrace and dissolve tension from the core of my being, I meet life's challenges with greater adaptability. 
as I embrace and dissolve tension from the core of my being, I meet life's challenges with greater adaptability. Just breathe into that. As I embrace and dissolve tension from the core of my being, I meet life's challenges with greater adaptability. Take a big exhale out. Settle in for just another minute. need to adjust, do so mindfully, slowly. And just gently bring your awareness back to your body as you prepare to gently make your way out of this posture from full frog, begin to come up to your hands. Whatever variation you take, make sure you support yourself and take your time. Bring the tops of the feet to the mat, toes in. Gently bring the knees back together. Sit back on your heels in hero pose or any comfortable seat. And close the eyes and we'll just let that posture sink in for a moment. Sitting quiet and still, taking note of any sensations, how the body recoils. Take a full breath in, and a cleansing breath out. Shift the hips to one side and bring one leg on top of the other for our cow face pose. So the knees are gonna stack on top of each other. Alternatively, you can take fire log pose or any variation in between that works for your hips. So knees are stacked or getting there. Bring the arms up overhead. And we're gonna take a twisted variation here. So exhale, uh, my, my right knee is on top. So I'm going to twist towards the right. If your left knee is on top, twist towards the left. One hand props you up behind, the other hand comes to that top knee to gently help lengthen through the spine on the inhale. And exhale, twist to look over your back shoulder. Three rounds of deep breath here. Relax the jaw, relax the face. On your fourth inhale, gently release, coming back to center. Inhale the arms up overhead, and then we're gonna fold forward over the legs, reaching the heart over the knees, plant the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Allowing the hips to gently close back together from that deep frog opener. Final inhale here, release a little bit more on the exhale. And gently curl the spine back up to six. And then we're just gonna gently switch the crossing of the legs. So take your time. You might have a little bit different shape on this side. So work with yourself, take a minute to settle in and get stable. Lengthen through the spine. Reach the arms up overhead and twist towards the opposite direction. So my left knee is on top, so I'm twisting towards the left. Back arm props you up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, gently twist, moving from the heart. Allow your breath to gently coax you into the twist. Your hands are just there for support and encouragement. over that back shoulder. One more round of breath here. 
And then inhaling back to center. Arms come up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips, bringing the heart past the knee or that direction, lower the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, fold. Let everything hang heavy. Stay with your breath, stay with your posture. And on an inhale, curling the spine to slowly sit back up. Extend the legs long out in front of you, give them a little shake. And then make your way to your back. We'll take one bridge pose. Or if wheel is in your practice and you'd like to try that, you're welcome to, of course. If you're not feeling bridge pose today, legs up the wall could be nice. So begin to set up for your heart opener, our, our little mini inversion. And plant the feet in the hands for your taking bridge. Tuck the tailbone, lengthen through the neck by tucking the chin. And on an inhale, lift it up. Take some big deep breaths here. At least five rounds of breath in whatever variation you're taking of our inversion right now. Make each exhale at least one or two seconds longer than the previous, if you can. Quiet the mind, focus the breath. Gently lowering on your fifth exhale. Coming back to laying on your back with the knees bent. And across the right heel, the right ankle over the left knee for a supine figure four. You can either stay here, or lift that left leg off the mat, reach between the legs, grab your left hamstring or right behind the knee and gently pull that left knee in towards you as you energetically press that right knee away. Tuck the chin, relax the jaw, soften the face. Maybe add a little gentle rock left and right here, if that feels good for you. And then bringing your awareness to that right foot, so the foot that's crossed over, we're gonna take a twist here. So lower the legs towards the left side of the mat so the right foot meets the floor. The so legs to the left, extend the right arm out over the right side of the mat, let your gaze follow, and then relax it down. Another round of cleansing breath here. And then inhale, lift the gaze to center. Draw the legs back up, plant that left foot down. Extend the right leg up towards the ceiling, flat foot. And then bending at the knee, plant that right foot back down. And we'll take the other side. Lift the left foot, cross that left heel over the right knee. Draw that right leg in, grabbing behind the leg. Gently pull the right leg in as you press the left knee away. Straighten through the spine by tucking the chin. Keeping the shoulder blades on the mats. If you took the rocking back and forth on the other side, go ahead and gently rock here. And taking notice of that left foot, we're going to pull it all the way to the right side, lower it all the way to the right side. So legs to the right, left arm to the left, your gaze follows, finding a gentle supine twist.
full gentle exhales. Full expansive inhales. Take a final breath in your twist. Inhale the gaze up to center, bring the legs back up center as well. Arms at, you, at your side, extend the left leg long, foot is holding up the ceiling. For one breath, press up through the heel and then exhale, lower that foot back down. Take gentle windshield wipers left and right. And then drawing the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug, wrapping the forearms around the knees. Happy baby. Reaching for your toes, shins, ankles. Drawing the knees down, lengthening through the spine, tucking the chin. Take a breath here. Take a breath out. Bring the feet back together. Lift the legs, tall feet together, long through the legs, pressing up through the heels, flat feet, and slowly lower the legs down to the earth. Engage the core. Take your time. If you've got some low back issues, you can always bend your knees that way. Keep pressing the low back towards the earth. Stay engaged all the way down uh, until you make it. I hate that too, <laughs> but we did it. Bring the soles of the feet together, your knees splayed wide. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And begin to allow yourself to sink into closing out this physical practice, feeling the connection of heartbeats and the belly rising and falling with the breath. Beginning to close the eyes if you'd like. Taking a final few breaths, allow the inner legs and the hips to open here. If you've had a little too much opening, you can feel free to close the knees together. Walk the heels, heel toe the feet to the edges of the mat and allow the knees to fall in towards each other. You feel a good low back release here as the hips kind of close. So your choice, or maybe take both. We'll spend a few rounds of breath here in whatever shape feels best for you, including any other final postures, breath, noises, shapes that you need to take. And then as you're ready, Gently releasing every square inch of your body, surrendering down to the mat into corpse pose. And the eyelids become heavy, relaxing through the jaw. Allowing the arms and the legs to melt into the earth Releasing the awareness of your breath, softening to the belly. Finding stillness in the body and the mind. Just allow yourself to be.
Begin to deepen your breath. Slowly drawing your attention back to the physical body and the mat. And your presence and your space. And taking any small movements to reawaken the body. Maybe stretching up overhead. Gently curling into yourself, spending a breath or two here. Taking your time. Whenever you're ready, you can gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat in the top of the mat, just keeping the eyes closed or softly gazing down in front of you. And the palms together at heart center, bow the head. As we embrace and dissolve tension from the core of our beings, I hope that we can continue to meet life's challenges with greater adaptability. Final inhale together. Open mouth, exhale. Release the hands with the gaze. Thank you for sharing this class with me. It's an honor as always.